Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to episode two of the US campaign. And uh, it seems that the Gangut, uh, not, well, it might actually be a Gangut, I don't know, um, has come out to Shoreway McCruises. Um, you really, hmm. Quite sure what to do here. Uh, we do have torpedoes. We do outnumber him, and he is unescorted. So I am tempted to try and see if we can pull off a very cheeky, uh, cheeky victory. I'm certainly going to give it a try. It's also certainly worth getting information on what the Russian battleships are like. Close at high speed and try and torpedo it. We can uh, cripple her upper works. That would help. We can even find the bloody thing. Thought she was supposed to be chasing me off. Still no sign of it. Must be here somewhere. Don't think it'll be able to do more than 28 knots. But if it's doing like 20, even 24 directly away from me, then uh, this could be uh, a little bit dull. Oh, no, we found it. And it is running away. Ah, because it's damaged. Oh, very interesting. And it is Ganget like. No, it's disappeared again. After it. How did it disappear again? A bit weird. Just times 10. There we go. Right, just load uh, HE considering the angle. Oh, secondary gun getting taken out. Not bad. It's certainly been in the wars, this thing. It's armor light. Uh, pretty decent, actually. I mean, we'll be able to hit the extended, but. It's not really what you want to go for. We're going to try and destroy the upwards. A lot of the guns are out of action. Ooh, hello. That's an unpleasant surprise. Don't like that. Cheeky little torpedo launches. Try and shoot them off if we can. Good job by the Langley there. And you could just keep flapping away with the uh, 
HG. Lots of fires on it. So we get it. Or oh, we can just burn it down. <laughs> HE spam! <laughs> it's not what I meant to do. But she was very badly damaged, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um <laughs> But uh, that's quite quite a quite a coup. Uh, taking out a uh, taking out an enemy battleship with a cruiser squadron. That's pretty decent. Yeah, three thousand victory points. Ah, oh, we caught them. It's the ships. At the end of the last episode that were annoying. Wow, that is a slow light cruiser. You're not getting away. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Probably a little excessive. Uh, the forces that we're sending after it, but uh, screw it. Yeah, so we've got the Alaska in charge. Pretty nice ship, considering. Um, you know, eight 14-inch guns, it's not the best armament in the world, but for a ship that's doing 28 and 28 no, uh, and a half knots with a, what's it, 16-inch belt, that's, that's pretty decent. Might be able to upgun them later, potentially. But uh, overall, I think that's a pretty useful, pretty useful little ship. Also, notice the pop in. Like, it's worse. And I can't remember when that changed, but you can look at my graphic settings here. I have everything on at a maximum. Um, so I don't know why when I'm now seeing that pop in. It's probably not the developers. It's probably the engine. It's a lot of effect. So this will be the high detail model. And then the low, de low detail doesn't have one. <laughs> Which is fine if you're like out here. You know, you don't really notice, but I think that's that's a little bit too that's a little bit weird that it's doing that. You can see it on the guns too, so that's the high detail model, and then it goes down to the low detail model, and then it disappears. Oh, she should, should uh, stop chit chatting. Pay attention because they are firing torpedoes at me. Those things I seem to remember carry quite a lot of torpedoes. Yep, there we go. But unfortunately for them, they've been firing them at the destroyers. Although Quincy manages to uh, sail straight into one. However, the uh, destroyer does not last very long. Yeah, six inch hit. Did it in. This one, these ancient light cruisers. Whoa! Whoa! 14 inch shell absolutely destroying the ship. Again, probably due to the rebalance mod. I know that damage has been uh, changed. But that is that is a lot of hurt that's basically straight into the engine room. And. Uh, completely immobilizing the ship probably sinking it yeah there we go outstanding work outstanding yeah look at that three hits 
<laughs> two of them that are actual good hits, and that yeah completely takes out like cru like cruiser. That's what you want to see. Well, that's a nice little start to the episode. Okay, what have we unlocked? Uh, Mark 4, 5, 4 inch guns is good. Big guns. Working away on Mark 2, 17 inch guns. Not really what I want. Chaps, um, <laughs> I want the Mark 3 16s, but you know, you do you. Uh, I'm focusing on the small guns for now. <laughs> yep, yeah, everybody likes us. <laughs> Apparently. That's 17 inch mark two. Uh, It's the British who don't like us, but we were allied with the British. I don't understand that. Like, we're really friendly with Britain. <laughs> they don't like us for some reason. Makes no sense. Anyway, um, Russia's still at war with pretty much everybody except the Germans. Doesn't look like I'm getting to sink. Any transports? You'd think there would be something for them to attack in here. If there's nothing, I'll just send them home. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can further boost the economy. <laughs> I mean, I have absolutely tons because the US economy is bonkers. Uh, let's go that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not, they're not getting to engage anything. Let's just send them home. Oh, there's a Russian battleship there that is apparently heading <laughs> for New York. Uh, let's send these guys back to... Let's send them to Boston. Oh, it's like, no, you can't move me. Yes, I can. Don't be silly. There we go. I don't, yeah, I don't see any mysterious Russian ships appearing from nowhere. What are they down to now? Ten ships. Hmm... Uh, oh, excuse me. That's my door. I'll be back when there's some action. Bye for now.
Uh, welcome back. Uh, that lone battleship has finally showed up, or at least, uh, and and I've finally been able to get the navy to use their eyes <laughs> and engage the damn thing, which is about three months later than they should have been able to do it. Um, now I seem to remember these things are pretty slow. Uh, this is the first time we've seen a standard class, though. USS Nevada leading the fleet. I do think they look pretty, pretty good. Um, from the front, just don't look at the 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 back, <laughs> back of the superstructure. It's fine. Uh, Twenty-two knots. And this is a very big fleet to deploy to take out a single enemy battleship. But, uh, well, then you're going to scream mine and... <laughs> you know, it's the first time they've actually gotten to do anything for ages, so they're all very excited. There we go. <laughs> very, very excited. Oh, they're actually coming at us. It's an ugly, ugly ship that the AI has produced here. Genuinely horrible. Bang! Bang! Oh my word! Took out a main gun on that hit. That was painful. Sheer volume of shells firing at the thing and some torpedoes as well. She's listing over pretty badly, which is why I'm suddenly no longer able to penetrate. Again, another long standing gripe about the game. Uh, if a ship is steeled over like this, it makes sense that the ship shells coming in are going to be hitting the deck armor, but the game then uses the deck armor penetration value, which of course is low because it's too close to it. Even though that really shouldn't be how it works. <coughs> um, because you know, if armor is armor. It's oh, Seattle took a big hit there. She's on her own. She get her to retreat. Still dangerous. Are they all fired? Yeah, they have. Absolutely useless. <laughs> Four destroyers firing at a slow, pretty badly damaged battleship. And, yeah, not a single hit. Typical. And you can see here the problem with... Um, that I was talking about with the ship sloping, although now it's an angle issue. Um, I wonder if we can cut onto the... The other side. Oh, there's a pen. And there we go. Sunk. Uh, it, it's only come about because when the game was originally made, the the ships wouldn't roll, so you you wouldn't run it ever run into that problem. But now that they roll, uh, it is a bit weird. Yeah, she took a thirty two. Oh no, she took two thirteen inch shells. Okay, uh, blocked one of them though, which is pretty good. And then the other one. Went through 4.6 inches of armor. That must be... Must have gone through the extended, but... It might have been a high explosive shell. I did a lot of damage, but she lives to find another day. Yeah, it looks like the shell hit. Uh, well... Looks like it hit pretty much where X turret was. So maybe it wasn't a extended hit. 
Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, no, we'll thanks. Uh, but that will end the episode. Uh, not a huge amount of action, but some, which uh, I'm relatively pleased with. And uh, you can enjoy some patriotic music to uh, <laughs> finish off the episode. And I will see you next time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.